Omnicurus, India's largest online CME platform, in collaboration with API. Bringing you the accredited latest digital CME on, gastroparesis related GERD, challenges and effective management. Long term use of PPI costs more for lifelong treatment, needs adherence which is very important. People do not take the treatment for a long time, they do not adhere to the time when they have to take it. Patient is not interested to take prolonged treatment in many of the situations. Who are the candidates for surgical or endoluminal therapy? Who are the patients who should be referred by physicians to the surgeons? So it has been shown that patients who have poor compliance with PPI and those who do not want to continue for a long time and wish to discontinue medical treatment, symptomatic with full dose of PPI. Even if you give two times a day the PPI, still the patient is symptomatic. And the patient is symptomatic with a large hiatus hernia more than 5 cm. There are various endoscopic techniques which have been introduced. Lot of GERD treatments have been done with endoscopic techniques of which radiofrequency ablation that is RFA or strata procedure, transoral incisionless fundoplication that is TIF, endoluminal anterior fundoplication which is called as MUSE, and anti-reflex mucosectomy that is arms procedure. For more videos, download the Omnicurus app.